Good morning, YouTube. It is a beautiful day, man. I'm just feeling good. I hope you guys are as well. The last few days of the major have just been absolutely unreal. It is Friday. We got some more big games today. We're down to eight teams, man. And I just got to say, I love Call of Duty. I appreciate every single one of you guys showing support on these videos. We'll continue to make more. I'm drinking my XP boost right here. I'm about to get absolutely turned for the day. But we're going to go over Optic versus Ultra. What went wrong for Optic Gaming and what they need to fix going forward. All right. <laughs> Let's get into this S and D. So Chicago does this strat. Oh, this is their offense. They do this strat where they leave Dashy basically on an island, which I like. They've been doing it on a lot of the maps so far, but they're doing a mid push. You see number five, that's formal. He's looking towards A with the bomb. Two guys are going mid, so they're waiting for a pick here. They push up through mid. I like the play here. Dashy gets the pick. Redirect the attention. Envoy goes through. So this is beautiful plays. So you can see they have made so much tremendous improvement in search and destroy like their coordination is just a lot better their execution is better just sometimes they fall into bad habits now this is something that i really dislike uh you just went around right you went around you worked for it you got the dub you just throw this one away so i mean you send scump in the island but he's playing like a pretty obvious spot that if they push that he's gonna get traded like at most he gets a trade there and for me, it just begs the question of like, why is that your setup, right? Like you're scum. You understand how good you are. <laughs> you're a legend. You're one of the best players in the game. You don't like, don't sit in a corner waiting for somebody to just run past you. Like throw some jiggles here, show face and scare them. Let your presence be known on the map so that they don't just push it and get full map control, right? Like I don't believe in giving up full map control, hiding and trying to just straight up attack them, right? Like. If you're scump, you can show face, be like, yeah, we are sending players here. So if you're gonna push this, you're gonna have to deal with me. You throw some shoulders. Maybe it staggers or push a little bit. You at least get the information. So like, he doesn't get the information until he's dead. And he doesn't, he's not able to get the kill because they overwhelmed him. So like, you can't put scump in, you know, the, whatever, the bot position, if you want to call it. And it may have come just for a moment. Why is this happening? So they don't have like, like Envoy is their playmaker here, right? And they decide that they want to go A. But why is Envoy pushing up by himself with no assistance trying to make a play here? This is never going to work. So he gets through Envoy and they are aware of it and he gets shot in the side with no help, no trade whatsoever. So now they're in a 3v4 and they have to wrap with 30 seconds left in the round. You should never put yourself in a hole like that. It's just not going to work. That is a mid-round adjustment that just you won't see a phase make or a rocker make. It just won't happen. He shot him twice. Wow, that's always in COD. As you've died, if you're shooting somebody, you get like a glitch kill. It's always been like that. Stupid. But here we go. They lose another round, man. Like, I would have loved to see them maybe wrap the bomb together earlier in that round when you didn't. Like, if, you're, if your play is to get a pick at a... And they don't show you show face and give you that pick right and you don't overexert yourself especially if you're one player to push out and get that pick right like they didn't give us a pick guys we're probably not gonna be able to push a so let's wrap and go towards b right that that, that that's the play like we, we didn't get the pick so let's group up and play together as a team and play our trades that is the mindset that optic needs to adopt they didn't get we're gonna play picks okay step one we're gonna play picks this round guys all right Damn, they didn't give us the pick, guys. So what do we do? Let's send out a guy and maybe he'll get a pick. Like, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to think, we didn't get the pick. Let's group up now and play our trades and use our individual skill and knowledge situationally to make a push. That's it. That's all you got to do. And they don't. They abandon that and they one guy goes by himself. You need to adopt that mindset. So right here, Cammy peaks. It's kill. Now, here's what I think. Optic should have stayed in the bomb this round. You have control, you have bomb side control, they have to come to you. And you have numbers, they run out. Now, if Insight is on the statue here, it's round over, it's done, right? This is actually a grave mistake out of Optic. This is a weird, bold play call. The round would have been over. He wins a gunfight here, kills him. Like the round should basically be chalked here. If that guy was statue, he kills both of them, and he has positioning, and Formal gets a lucky ass two piece. But like right there, his decision making a little bit off. Um, for Toronto, also like 
stick just playing the trade this is kind of unlucky i guess like like got shot through the wall i mean i would like to see him statue but that's too big of a nitpick for me to say i mean he got a huge two-piece so like they just got unlucky he got wall banged and lined up for each other cammy makes a bold play up the middle gets dashy i mean this is unfortunate can't really nitpick anything there and now they have to back up and find him cammy overexerts himself which is a grave mistake on his side he should have played his life waste a little bit of time and kept him guessing i'm with his good heads up job of picking him up now what optics thinking is okay so we killed cammy we know we're going towards b here we don't see anything mid so let's wrap it back towards a which is a, a great adjustment mid round i love that things that they're doing now they weren't doing before so problem is like kleenex is here um but you have to just be thinking like we have to be in positions to trade right so if kleenex gets this kill he's got to get traded so he does so optics doing a good job so far and now you get bombed down yes so this is exactly what optic doing right they get the kill onto bants the trades are perfect and this is what happens here in these rounds when you make these quick adjustments and it works out right like the one error i saw this round was cammy he gets the kill and then he should have played his life right like lay down on the street somewhere don't go into doggy just don't put yourself in a position to get traded and you give yourself the upper hand but optic sees that and where picks up the kill they wrap back they overwhelm them they get the bomb down they force them into them and then they get the trades great round of search for optic gaming great i wonder if optic realizes that this whole part of the map right here is open like is this like do they understand that this is open right here that players can just go window to window and this is this is my question like as an as a search team trying to be really good at search you have to understand what's possible on the map and have a countermeasure in place for any of those situations right so for optic Chicago in their setup like they tried to do a hard counter a nothing was there they had dash watch in the street so mid was kind of open so five formal backs up to make sure they don't push through mid but do they realize that this window is open or are they actively ready to counter this so this can get really bad here like if ultra were to drop this bomb play corners on the bomb site and have these guys sort of play late flanks the round would basically be over and ultra would win so ultra is doing a good job of finding the gap right now and optic is just trying to figure out what their plan is so formal abandons this he goes back towards a leaves this gap dash he's looking for a flank so like right now what they're trying to set up is like a pinch on the flank here get information and then bam bomb gets planted and dash is like what the hell so he turns around and he finds kills onto them which i think was a little bit lucky because they had a huge error in their setup with this being open right so that's something that obviously they go back to him and go we got lucky by winning this round but we got to make sure that this is impossible um because if they just played corners in this bomb site the rounds chalked right like this guy would have been watching eskies this guy would have been on the stairs watching the rat back they would have they would have gotten smoke so yeah i mean that's a bit weird like i get you gotta make the best of a situation when you like try to hard counter them at a but you have to realize kind of what's open as well so you can't really run into the building so clearly not much they can do but that could have got really 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 bad really quick okay so what do we have here we have two players fighting uh here one player mid one guy okay so this is like an a push can't really hate it too much teams do this all the time Envoy gets taken out the trade isn't there but he was not really in a great position for the trade so he's just trying to stay alive and regroup with his teammates don't hate it dashy gets picked i would like them to see them like full commit if they're doing a push like that but hey and this is just going to be extremely tough i mean now he's in a, in a 1v2 yeah I, I just think the trades didn't go their way really like if you if they would have committed there as a team it might have been a little bit easier and you catch them off guard as the players are split but yeah i mean i think if you're gonna if you're gonna do it commit to it right um just doesn't go their way they get blooded and they lose i'm not gonna really complain about that round too much just a push scump going towards the window here it's looking like a b push dashy with a huge first blood on the insight massive now i would like to see optic wrap back to a together and bully them out all right so uh formal gets to trade on envoy totally fine okay the envoy died here one guy at a i want to see them group up and make a play 3v2 they're potentially split right now so you've gotten kills on both sides of the map so group up and bam go make a play so right now they're wrapping back and they're going towards b so they send one guy up mid here 
Am he gonna be prepared? Able to drop Dashy off the rip and get the puck. It's just like Ooh, man, you know. Overall traded out, but a just get peace, like I don't hate it, I guess, but I would have loved to see them go around the street together where you're not putting yourself at such like a disadvantage jumping through a window. Like go around the street together and bleed out, right? Like why do you have to jump into the window there? Cammy gets a huge two piece. They're caught off guard, trying to look towards mid. It's just like it's just tough, man. Like why put yourself in a position where you have to be mantling things like that? They get taken out. I don't know. It, like that round is just like, yeah. You know, we push it together. He gets a huge two piece. Like, what do we do? I get what they're impri they're probably thinking after that round. Like, ah, shit, he's there. That's just unfortunate. But like, you can make it easier. Like, if they just go around the street there, hold a guy statue, you send two guys around into the door. If there's you know a guy there, you two double team him. You have a guy statue. He's watching Eskies or middle. He can jiggle to flank. He can watch a rat back around. Like. Optic there that he was in that I don't position. know. It's, that, that is just frustrating. It's all about making um, play on offense. Okay, so let's see what they can do here. So Ultra, four to five. Cammy off of a big play. Optic here, switching it up a bit. Scump playing a corner inside a B. Dashy tried to go mid and get a pick. Doesn't see anything. And then formal and Envoy at A. Sort of a standard with a little bit of variation. So I like this because they realize that they've been giving up mid to B. This is the adjustment where Scump goes into B. Make sure, like, okay, if we're gonna give this up, let's have a guy here. So when they jump in, we can get the kill. So this is actually very heads up play out of Scump. Great adjustment to the strategies that they're being hit with. So now Scump's in a great spot. Unfortunately, gets traded, but I love that, right? Stops the push, and now he set up a trap. So it, in essence, Scump doing that has set up a trap. Insight wins a huge gunfight onto Formal. That's just a big gunfight win, to be honest. And now, right here, wrapping back, Envoy gets taken out here, trying to do a little bit too much, but it is a 2v3, so somebody has to make a play, and he's the playmaker, and then Dash is screwed here, right? So, that was just a great round by Ultra, a tough gunfight uh, win by Insight, and that gets in the round. Sometimes just a, a gunfight swings the tides there, and they get it done. So, so we see sort of the same setup, Scump inside a B, Dashy mid, you see Envoy committing here towards outer for the information, and he just gets trapped, man, like this right here, I do not agree with. You have to have the assistance over there. If a player, if they're gonna hard push A, you have to give him assistance. Formal has to be helping him there, but Formal is sort of hesitant. He backs up when he realizes the push is coming in. He sort of like chalks up Envoy's up. Envoy gets taken out, and then Formal goes for the reach out after that. Once his teammate arrives, and then the nade comes in, he gets injured, and now they've given up map control to Ultra. I don't agree with that at all. I think he should have been there to help Envoy to keep him alive. Playing aggressive here, watching the cross, um, and trying to help Envoy so he doesn't get sandwiched, right? At least sitting in the alley and killing the guy as he jumps for the sandwich. And then his inside of the room can be picked up by Dashy. So you see the double wrap back also. I missed a couple things there, but they they wrap back towards B to keep Optic guessing. And then they wrap back towards A to keep them guessing again. And Skump here goes for a challenge. So he gets put in a terrible situation. Once again, Optic isn't together here. So he gets traded. And now it's a 2v3. And, and, and with them wrapping back and forth, they have taken Optic out of position and they have position on the bomb now. Now it's easy as planning. They come to you, you get the kills and the round's done, right? So now Optic has the push. Ultra set up and there's really nothing they can do here. He gets taken out and that's game over, right? So it's just tough, man. You got a group up there. And you can see they sort of crumbled within that round from the very start. And yeah, man, that's it. Uh, but all in all, I mean, I think that Optic has improved a ton in Search and Destroy. They, if you watch some of the breakdowns from before and then you go to this one, you'll see there's been a, a lot of improvement made. There's a couple tweaks that they need to make to their Search and Destroy to take it to the next level. Um, but yeah, I think they can bounce back. It's just going to be really hard, man, because they fall back into bad habits so easily. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those notifications on. We'll have more videos throughout the week, man. But until next time, it's real, guys. I'm Nameless. Peace. Oh, they're all looking at